Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Revolution. Today we will go through an inspirational poem by Douglas Mullock. Douglas Mullock was an American poet, short story writer and the associate editor of The American Lumberman, a trade paper in Chicago. And the poem goes like this. If you can't be a pine on the top of the hill, be a scrub in the valley. But the best little scrub by the side of the rill. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a bush, then just be a bit of the grass some highway happier make. If you can't be a musky, then just be a bass, but the liveliest bass in the lake. We cannot all be captains. We have got to be crew. There is something for all of us here. There is big work to do. There is lesser to do. And the task we must do is the near. If you can't be a highway, then just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. It is not by size that you win or you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. What an inspirational poem it's. Through this poem, Douglas Mullock reiterates the importance of each individual and the dignity of labor one engages in. He calls for the best outcome from each and every individual and urges to take pride in one's profession. Whether it's big or small, that doesn't matter. What matters is be the best of whatever you are. If you're a teacher, try to be the best teacher imparting knowledge and guiding students through the right path to be better citizens of the world. Like that, if you are a doctor, try to be the best doctor, giving solace and hope to the poor and the needy. If you are a tailor, try to be the best tailor. If you are a sculptor, try to be the best sculptor. Like that, whatever field you are in, you should strive to be the best in that field. It's an exhortation to put your 100% in your work, in your profession. Then you become the best version of yourself. It's also a gut check whether you do justice to yourself, to your field of work, to the chosen profession. How many of you have made such an introspection? How much percentage of concerted dedicated effort you have put in to excel in your chosen field? Is it 100%? Is it 50%, 60%, 70% or 90%? Think about it. If you conscientiously strive to improve upon yourself, you will become the best version of yourself. And eventually you will become the best in that field. No doubt about that. It takes time and effort. If you have the perseverance to excel, you will become the best one in that field. This not only applies to any work or profession alone, but to any other situation or position. This mantra is universally applicable. For example, be the best of whatever you are in your relationships. If you are a father, try to be the best father. Ask yourself in which way I can be an ideal father. In which way I can be the best mother, best son, best daughter, best brother, best sister, best husband, an ideal wife, a best friend, a best lover. If you keep this goal in mind in every interactions we make, over a period of time, even without our knowledge, we will make wonderful strides in our relationship with one another. Through your love and affectionate behavior, you conquer the hearts of one another. What else you need to be happy and content in this world? Then we cannot all be captains. We have got to be crew. There is something for all of us here. There is big work to do. There is lesser to do. And the task we must do is the near. We cannot all be CEOs. We cannot all be doctors. We cannot all be engineers or scientists. So the poet says that 
each one should do the job one is assigned to do one is supposed to do or what is in hand with 100% devotion the world needs everyone not only doctors engineers or scientists but also farmers cleaners skilled workers laborers and so on it is designed like that but remember each one's contribution is significant one is in no measure lesser than the other so everyone counts suppose there were only doctors and engineers no farmers nobody to work on the agricultural field then there wouldn't be any food to eat we would have died of hunger so each job is sacred significant and got its own value understand the dignity of labor give respect to each one and their contributions say for example the farmer working in the scorching heat on the paddy field turning their sweat into grains of gold for the entire humans to feed on think for a second what an immense contribution it's at least think about it each one's contribution in making this world as it is not only doctors other health workers nurses factory workers cleaners servants and so on think about them think about their contributions and if they were not there what would have been the state of affairs think for a second if you can't be the sun be a star there are more than 300 billion stars in our galaxy in our milky way how vast it is it's far beyond human cognition and the sun is one of the smallest stars among them since it is the closest one to our earth we see it as the brightest and the biggest celestial object all these beautiful vibrant lives on this planet plants animals and everything is because of the sun we draw all our energy from the sun but see the twinkling stars which makes the night sky so beautiful and awesome to watch finally he ends the poem with a great moral note it is not by size that you win or you fail be the best of whatever you are here everyone counts each one can excel in their own domain in their own arena in their own respective field so my friends become the best one in whatever field you are in take pride in your profession in your job in your contributions become that great the world cannot defy you become that great the world cannot deny you become that great the world cannot ignore you become the best version of yourself and get noticed get acknowledged and get recognized best wishes